The first throw I want to talk about is Tayotoshi. The key to getting this one nice and sweet is really getting low, lowering your center of gravity, bending those knees, and catching your opponent off balance. You gotta pull him towards you to the point that his he's standing on his toes. And then what you want to do is get your calf to touch his ankle and basically explode up everything from your knees popping up, your arms, and your head you want to face downwards. The next throw is your basic Osotogar. This is the very first throw you learn in Judo, and it's probably the easiest, but in my opinion, it's the most effective. And it's actually my favorite throw as well. So this is my friend doing it. He does the basic one-two Osotogari pretty well, but he's a lefty. It's basically you come in with your supporting leg if you're left or right. If you're righty, it's gonna be your left. If you're lefty, it's gonna be your right. And you want to pull his sleeve hand to the side because you want to get him on one leg. And then after that, tackle into him with your chest. You really have to lean your body weight onto his to push him off balance. And then finally just reap your leg. And here's a little variation that I like to do. It's kind of, it almost turns into a Harai Goshi at the end. But you approach him in an angular fashion as you can see me doing. And I really like this one. It just gives me a lot more success when I'm sparring and stuff it's probably one of my most effective throws the osoto slash harai variation this is how i practice it on my own in case you're curious if you're an overweight judo practitioner and you work a nine to five job you're struggling with time you're struggling with diet and you've tried everything from diet to cardio and everything to lose weight but you've just been struggling there's a link in the pinned comments i want you to click it apply and perhaps i can help you reach your fitness goals I'll see you there. Then the next one is Uchimata. And this is my second favorite. So you see me here doing the one step. So the one step is actually a pretty cool one. It's a more advanced one. But I recommend doing the one two step. The two step Uchimata is your basic one. So let me run you through a quick tutorial on how to do that. So the first step, you're simply bringing your right foot in. Bring this left foot and stomp on the ground. So step number three is just lifting like that, see? And then number four, just throw, <laughs> simply like that. So did you see how I lifted him off the ground without getting my leg up? The reason why is because Uchimata is a hip throw. And the next throw is Hoshiguruma. This is the same exact principle as your basic hip throw, except you're not gripping the hip, you're grabbing around the neck. Again, grab this arm and then just come in for hip throw. Instead of grabbing the hips, you're grabbing up here. <laughs> and just throw this way. The fifth throw everybody should know is Harai Goshi. So it's a hip throw and you're just adding a little sweep towards the end. So you're sweeping the leg. You're trying to, again, pull him on his toes off balance like every other throw finally sweep that leg that he's on. So it's kind of similar to Osotogari. Osotogari is a backward throw, but Harai, the only difference is you're, is a forward throw. So you're actually pulling your opponent forward and throwing. Here's me demonstrating it with my brother. And at the end, I'm showing you some no-gi variations that you can do in a self-defense scenario. I mean, you can do everything in a self-defense scenario, even gi. You just gotta grab the clothes, make sure he's wearing a heavy winter jacket or even a hoodie or a shirt you can really do this with any piece of clothing you can grab on your opponent anyways hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in this video which is a self-defense judo throws you can do in a scenario like that